Hey, it's Sam here from Lean Vegan with, with Hero. Oh no, Hero's gonna go away now, he's decided that um, probiotic foods aren't for him. So, um, upgrade your nutrition. If you've not been following along, um, you can pop your name below and I can send you this upgrade your nutrition challenge sheet. And the idea is it's got 28 challenges of different ways that we can upgrade our nutrition by getting more good stuff in. Um, and that's basically it, keeping it nice and simple. So today's challenge, I'm going to try try a probiotic food. Now, I was told earlier, technically, this should have said try a fermented food. Um, fermented foods such as kefir, kombucha, and sauerkraut, just three examples of foods that um, are like naturally preserved, let's say. Is that the right word to use? I think that's the right word to yep. use. And as such, it creates active cultures, which you have probably heard of being termed as a probiotic. So, um, first up, these are all pretty easy to get a hold of these days in your local health food store. You may even find fear in your supermarket. Um, Waitrose, do a really nice one, but we don't have a Waitrose up here. Um, so this is basically original bio live drink. So um, a bit like when we were talking about the natural yogurt, this one has in it, if I can find the ingredients, like it should basically say milk and kefir culture. Um, you can make your own kefir. Uh, I did that a couple of years ago. I, I was making a batch. You could buy a culture, you mix it with milk, you leave it a couple of days in a jar on the side, and it ferments and creates kefir. So I'm going to just pour a little bit of this out for you. This is quite a thick one. I really like the taste of this one because it's actually, uh, I love creamy things, and this is really nice and thick and creamy. It's quite smooth as well, but it looks very yeah. smooth. Yeah, some of them can be a little more. Um, Lumpy. Cottage cheesy, let's say. <laughs> um, so this one, you could drink it, you could have it on um, on top of cereal, you could have it instead of yogurt, you could put it in the smoothies. And it has a really nice, pleasant, smooth taste. So that's kefir. Um, another increasingly more popular fermented food is a drink called kombucha. Now we were in the US uh, last month and in every single cafe we went into, we were in Austin, Texas, and in every single cafe they had kombucha. When we went into Whole Foods they had a whole cabinet full of different kombucha. This one is brewed in Glasgow and it's a ginger and pear called Clever Kombucha. Just going to pour a little bit out. And it's kind of like just like a sparkling, again the ingredients on this, filtered water, black tea, cane sugar, which is transformed during the fermentation process. Uh, kombucha culture, again, you need a culture to start the fermentation process and patience. I like that they've got that on the ingredients list. Um, we had a friend actually in America who uh, used to brew his own kombucha. Not something I've tried yet. But again, it's a light, refreshing, sparkling. Ooh, gingery, that's lovely. Drink which naturally contains these living cultures, otherwise known as probiotics. Um, last one of the foods is one you're probably familiar with, sauerkraut. Um, I'm not a massive fan of sauerkraut, as we said. We used to live in, uh, in Luxembourg for a time, and sauerkraut there is obviously very popular in the German-style restaurants. Um, I've tried making sauerkraut myself and um, didn't go very well, but I'm gonna give it another bash. The only ingredients in this one is cabbage and salt. That's all it is in it. Um, you'll find some sauerkraut in the um, like preserved foods aisle in the supermarket, but that tends to be in vinegar. Um, whereas if you want to get the benefit of the fermented foods, you want to find one that's basically just cabbage and um, and salt. Um, kimchi is another one which is made. I'm trying to think what the base of that is, but it's lovely. It's Korean, I think. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not going to try that because I had a little bit earlier and it's very nice, but it's quite cheap. Um, and then finally, if you know, if you want the benefits of a live culture um, without having the fermented foods, obviously there are a, a variety of uh, nutritional upgrades, such as our Billions product that you could have a look at. Um, but um, that, that, that's about it really for fermented foods. Give them a shot. Um, there are other ones out there. Um, Google it, see what you think. If you're going to give one a try, let us know. Uh, let us know if we've missed a trick in something that we should have included.